Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel here. Hey, I just watched Brian Singleton's video uh, where he was showing the mount for the uh, Parrot Anafi uh, controller. He just bought the iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max, which is the phone I have you see here in this video. Uh, and he was concerned about how he would, it would fit uh, into the Parrot remote. Uh, an Afi remote and he's absolutely correct so it does fit but just barely so as you can see here I can just barely pull up on it and there's no space for anything but the other thing that's ev even more concern yeah, I don't know hopefully you can see on the screen here uh, if you look on the edge yeah there you can see it see that gap in the bottom that's not holding the phone very securely uh, so you're definitely going to want something uh, else uh, for a phone that big and what I found out is even I had my iPhone 10 which was the 10s which was the regular size one I, I just don't like the way they fit in this Sanofi controller and that's especially uh, important now because there's a lot of people that are going to be buying the uh, Skydio 2 and it uses this same controller so what you're really going to want is some kind of an additional mount kind of like that one Brian got uh, or I've got a, uh, a little different model so what I ended up with is this uh, mount that I got off of uh, eBay and you can see it's got a lanyard uh, uh, mount there uh, if you want to use a lanyard in it the only thing I'll say about this, and I guess that applies just to the Anafi controller as it is, it's kind of uh, top heavy, so it wants to fall over. So uh, I don't know if I'll wear a lanyard with it or, or not, but uh, but it's probably not a bad idea. But as you can see, that holds the uh, iPhone in much more securely. It's got bigger lips and on the on the uh, clamp there. Uh, so I think you know uh, much more much more secure the other thing is I guess to point out how this thing uh, attaches and uh, right here it's got this uh, I don't know if you'd call it a, a collar or what but that goes around the uh, the neck of the uh, of the controller there so I'm trying to do this on camera so you can see it but basically it just snaps on yeah, right. Well, I guess that's on there. That's the one thing about it that I don't like is I don't I don't have a lot of confidence in the way this thing snaps on there and that it's real secure. So you definitely would want to uh, hang on to this thing, but uh, it's just a little bit uh, different solution than what uh, Brian had. But definitely, if you've got a larger phone. Uh, or a uh, you know obviously if you're using an iPad or a tablet uh, you definitely need something like this and let me show how this thing works if you've got a tablet this thing's got a tablet holder as well right here for a little bit bigger but what you'd have to do is reverse it because obviously this thing only fits on there one way so I think you'd have to yeah just have to take these screws out pull that thing out flip it around uh, and then actually you probably have to flip them both because this thing would be in the way then uh, but then it would work for a tablet as well but uh, I'm going to use it for my uh, iPhone uh, Max and uh, yeah should work pretty good anyway just a little different solution and uh, wanted to show you that it will the the Max phone will fit in the Anafi controller but uh, I don't think it's anything I would trust so uh, you, you definitely want to get a, a, a different uh, solution this thing just doesn't have much of a lip there to grip and in fact I had just my regular iPhone in there and uh, it slipped out and fell onto the concrete and ended up costing me uh, 450 bucks for a new screen uh, which is about what I paid for the whole Anafi altogether so uh, yeah anyway lesson learned uh, like I said, just a little different solution than what uh, Brian showed. Both of them are uh, valid. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel, out. 
And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching my video. And we'll see you on the next one.